Hi, this is week cycle one, week 14, you create artists. This week we're gonna talk about Lorenzo Gear, Gear Beretti, maybe. Um, I do not have a video um, like I did last week from those cartoon characters, so you're just gonna have to fill the time a little bit more by yourself. It shouldn't be a problem because I think that the art um, work, the creation will take a little bit more time. But just so you know, um, I'd say about 10 minutes for everything that we're gonna go over. You can also review last week. Um, you can talk about, hey, who did we talk about? What are the facts that we know about him? I think that that would be helpful as well. So our three facts this week um, that Lorenzo, he won a competition in Florence, Italy to decorate these church doors. And they are called the Gates of Paradise. Um, so he created different scenes from the Bible, and they took him a really long time to do. Um, so some people kind of doubted that he was going to get them done, but he did. He just was slow. Um, he was trained as a goldsmith, so that's why when you see most of his stuff, that's all going to be gilded in gold. Um, and then, um, like I said, it took 20 sets, 20 years to finish one set of doors. So actually, it's just one set side took 20 years. I don't know how long the second side took, but one side took 20 years. Um, so then on the pictures that follow are details of some of those doors. So this is a self-portrait of him in the doors, and these are different biblical scenes, so you can just talk about those. Talk about the different dimension that he has within this door, how maybe he made it, um, and those kinds of things. And then um, this is also a panel on the door. So this one's a little fuzzy, but I mean, you can get, get the idea and you can talk about it and um, make stories up for what's happening. They are Bible stories, so, um, but I don't know which one. So you can kind of guess that. When you are done, please put the sticky note back on and put the paper clip back on so we can use them again. Our activity this week is called a Florentine Relief. And so what we're gonna do is each student is gonna have a piece of cardboard Please put a name label on um, the middle of the back because there is gonna be, um, or you might just even wanna wait on the name label. You could just wait on the name label, but have them. And then each, each um, student is gonna have a cardboard and a piece of tin foil. They don't need the tin foil yet, but they are. And then there are also, there are two bags of clay in your, bin or your bag and each class gets their own um, bag of clay and so it says take about one ounce so I'm going to show you kind of about what that is not that sorry I should have had that done but um, again you can just kind of split it in between your kids they don't need a ton um, but it is fun to play with so that is probably even a little bit more than an ounce but again you only have to split it between eight kids so just to give you an idea it's about that size, okay, that's about an ounce. And then it tells you to, I think for littler kids, I would just tell them to roll it out into a snake. So that's like this, when you're gonna go like this. Mine broke into, I thought it broke into three pieces, but it at least broke into two pieces, that's fine. It can it can break into pieces, but, and you can also just have them put it, let's see if you can see it. You can have them put it on the ground and roll it out like this. That's sometimes easier than putting it in between your hands. And the thickness and thinness doesn't matter. It can go thin in places, thick in places. Um, and then what's gonna happen is there, it says to use glue, don't use glue. Um, they're going to take it and they're going to make a design and just kind of lightly press it in to here, okay? Like that. So this is the design that I decided on. And then they are gonna take their tin foil and they're going to wrap it around and then they need to find where they did their design and they need to kind of pinch it. So see how you couldn't see it and then when I start pinching it together, then it really pops out, okay? And after that, so they're gonna, once you pinch it, and then you're gonna tuck it tight and everything. Then an adult is going to take this paint, every classroom will have some, 
and a wide brush. And then an adult will take and will paint over it in gold, just like Gilberti used. He um, used a lot of gold. So we're gonna keep this as gold and then put your name label on the back when you're done. So that is the overall project for littles. I think that that's gonna be plenty. For bigger kids, you can definitely have them start to kind of make a different um, uh, like heights, I guess. And so you can kind of have them push it down and that's gonna make from a high point down to a low point. You can have them kind of stick things up or out like that. So you can create a lot of different dimension and you can use those pictures that um, from what he showed of different examples to do. So we let those bigger kids kind of push them a little bit more and give them more ideas. Encourage them that they don't need to use all the clay they can. You can also make little tiny um, balls or dots. If you're feeling like the clay really isn't sticking, you can try the glue stick. I just think that that's gonna be kind of messy. So if you can just keep it flat, I think that's gonna be the best thing to do. So you can make different sizes. You can make kind of like a mountain curve. You could make letters. You can make um, the sun. You can make grass. Make all kinds of stuff. You can make whatever you want. Um, it doesn't even have to look like anything. Um, but they said that the snake might be the easiest for the kids. So I'm for sure going to do that for our class. Um, I think 